Hey everybody, welcome back to the Intune channel. I'm Dr. Chanel and today we're going to be talking about piriformis syndrome. Alright y'all, so today we're going to be talking about piriformis syndrome and many of you are thinking, what is piriformis syndrome? And that's a very valid question. So piriformis syndrome is a syndrome that occurs from a muscle in the body. That muscle is your piriformis and that muscle is located in your glute region of the body. I'm going to show you a little picture. over here and that's exactly where your piriformis is that being said that can cause many issues throughout the body it can cause you to have hip pain it can cause you to have knee pain it can ca cause you to have low back pain and that can be a huge trigger for a lot of people's issues many people ask us what are the symptoms that they could be having that could be piriformis syndrome a main one is when you're sitting for too long and you get that burning, tingling sensation right in that glute region. Um, another one can be any sort of like low to mid back pain or you're getting the shooting pain down the leg. Now, because the piriformis muscle sits right next to, depending on the person, the sciatic nerve. That sciatic nerve is what's causing that traveling shooting pain down the back of your leg. Um, when diagnosing, and please do not self-diagnose, come in, see us before you think you have something that you might not. Um, we definitely look at that irritation of the muscle. We make sure that that's exactly what's happening to fully diagnose. But many times, piriformis syndrome and sciatic nerve pain go hand in hand. Um, a lot of times, sciatic nerve pain comes from inflammation of the piriformis. So when treated properly by your chiropractor, um, that can be relieved. If you wanna know more about the anatomy of the piriformis and what it has to deal with the sciatic nerve, go ahead, check out our blog, it's on our website. We're gonna have an in-depth description and everything there to kind of go over exactly what's going on in the body. But in this video today, I'm also gonna show you some things that you can do at home to be able to stretch out that piriformis to keep that body healthy when you're not in the office being adjusted. Here we're stretching along that part of the thigh, which is the piriformis muscle. You're pushing down on the knee, chest up, and you're gonna lean forward. Only lean until you feel that stretch. Don't over lean and force it to happen. Showing it from the front as well, ankle comes up on top of the knee. You are going to put force into that knee and lean forward. You want to hold it pushing down on the hand, do it both sides, and one side's going to be a little easier than the other, it's just how everybody is. Lean forward, make sure you don't hunch, that's wrong. You want to chest up. The next progression would be laying down, squeezing the glutes, your ankle comes to your knee, you're going to put a little bit of pressure on that knee, not too much. You can also grab that leg if you need a little bit more of a stretch. You can either keep it straight or bend it, whichever you prefer. Make sure you do both sides, tucking in the butt, putting a little bit force down on that knee, lifting the leg to pull forward. You can always put the knee down if you need a little bit less pressure. The next progression is called pigeon for all my yogis out there. Um, when you do this move, make sure that that leg is at a 90 degree angle. Tuck mine forward due to my piriformis syndrome. Um, don't push this, go as comfortably as you can. Do not tuck the knee like that. You wanna be at a 90 degree angle, get the leg up there and just lean into it. After you've done all of those exercises at home, we're gonna show you what protocols we do in the office that will allow us to relieve your symptoms and actually fix the cause of the problem. The protocol that we use in the office is regularly adjusting the patient along with some muscle work. Depending on how severe the case is, we'll be using the Pisa Wave. Um, and this is great a great video because this is something that I suffer with greatly. Um, my right piriformis is awful. I have to get that treated at least once a week and do those stretches at home and make sure that I'm staying on top of it because if I don't, um, I become very locked up in my hip and my low back and it's very challenging for me to work all day and adjust all of our clients. So we like to make sure that 
I'm being regularly treated and we're actually gonna show you exactly what our protocol is, but just a brief overlay will adjust either um, pelvis or sacrum. We will go into some muscle work, some trigger point therapy, and um, we'll use the Pisa wave as well. So check out the next clip. Here we start with our patients laying face down and we're gonna check the feet. And then Dr. Al's gonna come up here and check my hips to see which hip or sacrum needs to be adjusted. Palpating in on the piriformis, checking to see which one's tighter. Now he's checking my sacrum with a sacral leg check. Each leg will come up and there's a difference. You see how that right leg really struggled to get off the table. That's gonna tell him which one to adjust. Now that I'm in side posture, he's going to make sure my bottom leg is straight top leg is bent, getting me all in a nice, good position, and he's gonna come up and adjust that hip. In this case, now he's gonna roll me to the other side and check my lumbar. My L5 sometimes gives me a lot of issues, so he's going to adjust that from the other side, rolling me towards him. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, like all of our stuff on Instagram and Facebook. If you're not following us, please go follow us. We plan on putting out more content all the time. If you have this problem, give us a call. Our number is 615-553-2268. Let us help you. We'll see you soon.